Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Factorio. One thing that I haven't set up yet that uh, this isn't permanent by any means, but it's something that I want to get somewhat set up uh, is a train refueling area. And I, I think I want to do something like that. And uh, let's get rid of stack inserters, uh, red belt. And I think that's it because uh, I don't want this extra station stuff to be built. Uh, that should be good, and we can turn our robots on and uh, see what we forgot. Uh, but yeah, we should be able to just take this. Oh, chests. I knew we'd, knew we'd forget something. I uh, didn't know what. Okay, uh, chests are cheap. All right, yeah, we'll just take this single belt here and run it a ways down. And yeah, we don't need that right there. Yeah, and I had another uh, refueling idea, and we still may do that. I just want to get something set up for now as we're getting everything just kind of up and running. Um, I figure once we get uh, military science set up, we can get... Uh, military science, uh, we can get the, the, the science running down here and get to researching some of... Uh, these things. Uh, speaking of things that we could research, let's research some more blue sciencey stuff. And uh, yeah, we can focus more on. Uh, well, I mean, for blue science, we're going to need refining, right? And uh, that's going to be a little bit of setup in order to get that working. Uh, let's take that from right there. And I do want to take that from there so it doesn't cause these belts to get uneven and for these chests to unload evenly, unevenly, like it appears like they are. Okay, you guys are close, uh, so it's not off by that much. All right, so we'll just feed one side of the belt going through there uh, to serve as a little bit of a train refueling area. Uh, at least for these trains, uh, the ones that are going to be running the most. Um, I did make a couple of little tweaks in between episodes. Um, it was pointed out that uh, I did do this backwards, uh, like I thought that I would. Uh, the belt reader needs to be on the bottom, and the belt brake needs to be on the top, because uh, the belt readers read as the items enter, not as they exit. So I flip-flopped that around. And uh, I also did a little bit of redesign on this station right here. I put steel on the top two uh, because just kind of looking at the numbers, I think steel, we're just going to need like a lot less of that than we need for everything else. Uh, we need steel only for making bullets. We need one of those per bullet. And we need like seven of those every... 10 seconds. So, yeah, we hardly need any steel at all. Uh, whereas things like wall, uh, we need we need quite a bit of it. Uh, a little bit more of that. And coal, we need just a, a whole lot more of as well. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we, got, we got coal here. We got the bricks taking up most of those and the two steel up on the top. Uh, this steel comes around and joins in with this steel right here to make a line. And uh, then these two just do the... the, the, the Two, the five and two, 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 two and one, basically, uh, to combine and make a line. Um, I also move these over here, so they come down here and make this nice little thing right here where that stuff gets input in. Um, that constant combinator does not need to be there. Um, but yeah, I think we've got everything we need now in order to go ahead and start making some military science. So I suggest that is what we do. Um... I'm wanting to do things a little bit differently here. Uh, because uh, running the numbers, uh, it's looking to me like the items that we need are going to be really, 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 really close to a single red belt. Maybe a little bit over. So what I may end up doing is... Uh, no, what I'm going to end up doing is basically taking these guys out. And uh, let's pull out our balancer book, and instead of a five to one, can we do a five to two? 
we can. And uh, that actually looks a little bit more reasonable to me. Yeah, much better. Uh, it just needs uh, some fish filters. And you know what? I probably need to go through this blueprint book and uh, filter all of those because there's never going to be any situation, realistically, that I don't want a fish filter on those outputs. Uh, just the ones that dead end are the ones we're worried about. It looks like it's only those three. Um, so that looks good. And uh, that will bring basically two lines coming out. And uh, we'll have to sushi this a little bit differently. But um, yeah, I think we're going to have a little different sushi setups uh, from, from now on, basically. Uh, so let's go ahead. We'll roll the intro and uh, we'll see what we need to do to get this done. All right, so I think for this setup, what I want to do is get basically a belt running on this side and a belt running on this side. So there's going to be basically two belts that these guys are going to uh, play with. And uh, then once we get down to some location, we'll turn these around. Um, and let's do something like this. And uh, this is this is impermanent. This is just me kind of playing with stuff here. Okay, and then that belt will come around like that. That belt will come around like that. Uh, you will go up around like that. And you will come up like that. See, this is why we space stuff. <laughs> okay, um... Let's see, let's take this down a little bit. Let's take it down to there. Um, you could join in like that, maybe, with a a splitter like that. And you, my friend, what are you going to do? You would join in like that. And then we can filter off military science off of both belts like that. Uh, take you up. And uh, military science will make its way over here somewhere uh, to this station right there. All right, and I think we only need one side uh, for military science. I don't think we need a double-sided station for that. Uh, we're just not going to be making that much of it. All right, so yeah, I think I think that'll work out a little bit better. And this part right here is probably going to have to be moved down a ways. Uh, but we can do that as we build stuff. All right, so let's get to building stuff. Um, going to have to give a little bit of space there. Okay, let's see what we need. We need, uh, we need one machine making the yellow bullets and two machines making the red bullets. Uh, we're going to need... 
uh, walls. Uh, one machine making that. And then two, three, four, five, six machines making grenades. I believe that's the number. Yeah, it's 5.4. So six will work in that case. And uh, then we're going to need seven machines making the actual military science. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, that gives us three left over. Uh, let's take two grenade machines down and similar like before, we'll just move these guys on down. And uh, that will work for that. Okay, so we should be able to set this up now to go in right there. All right, and we could probably do this with one belt. We could definitely do it with one blue belt. But, you know, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't want to back up here. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit more complex. Uh, we're going to have an in, an in, and an out, and an out. And uh, that's going to just carry all the way around. Um, make it consistent. All right, there'll be a power pole, power pole. Power pole, power pole. All right, and I did this where I wasn't thinking about lining it all up, so let's move it down to the end. So we want to line it up with the end. All right, let's put a power pole in the middle. And one in the middle there and carried on down with that pattern and we'll build it up as a full column. So you're going to be out, out, in, in. Out and out. Okay, I think that is what we need. Uh, wire, uh, let's make some more wire just to have some hanging around. Uh, you're going to go across. Uh, we're going to need a red wire in the middle. We're going to need a red wire out here. Uh, same thing for green. Um, you in the middle, you're not necessary, right? No. And all of the ones coming out, we get on the green network. Okay, and all the ones coming in, we get on the red network. Okay, that's starting to get a little messy. Okay, but I think that's good. Okay, so we just need to read the hand contents on those. So you, 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 and you are all reading the hand contents. Read, 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 read. Okay, and all of you guys are going to read the hand contents and be enabled, disabled. Let's go ahead and set that to grenade since we have so many of them. And we need... It says 30. Let's do that. Let's just do the number per minute. 
and uh, we'll just we'll just let that let that go. There, 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 and there. All right, let's spot check a couple of these. You're reading the hand contents. You're reading the hand contents. You are conditional logic, conditional logic, conditional logic, conditional logic. All right, I think that works. Let's go ahead and copy that setup and uh, we'll move it on down. Just like that. Uh, we do not need that machine, that inserter, that inserter, or that inserter. Uh, I have uh, redone all the production here because I copy and pasted that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. Uh, you need to be wall. You need to be red bullets. And you need to be yellow bullets. Okay, uh, Blinken's driving me nuts. Let's get that powered. Very good. And uh, we need to remove all of these guys. Because we don't want to put any control on the output. The control on the output is going to be done by the input, actually. Or the science. We don't need to, we don't need to count that. Actually, you know what? Um, it might have been a good idea to um, count the output of that and uh, basically do this control circuit right here uh, that I did on the overflow uh, based off of that logic. That would have made a little bit more sense, I think. Basically counting the items that go onto this belt and then subtracting them as they, these guys pull it off. And uh, if there's like more than 50 on this line or something like that, shut it all off. That would have been a good idea, Kitch. Uh, you should think about that. Um, is it too late? Let's 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 do that. Why not? Um, actually, uh, that would require me to set everything back up. I may do that. I may hook that up in between episodes. How do, how does that sound? Um, okay, so let's see. Ammunition. Um, let's see. I think if we just go with the, the count per minute. Uh, that should be right. Just limit that to 30 going out. Uh, you guys don't need outputs going out there. You need outputs going out there. Uh, wall is... You are actually 60. Okay, and grenades should be set. Uh, they are at 30. Um, is our north and south connected? It is not. So let's do that real quick. That pole, that pole, That pole and that pole, and that should get all of that hooked up, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so let's set up some for our other inputs. Uh, the brake is on the top. The counter is on the bottom. Uh, so you are copper, which should be at... It says 150. Uh, this should be iron, which should be at 420. Um, this is bricks, I think. It says 300. Uh, coal. 300 as well. And finally, steel, which I believe is something relatively slow, like, uh, what is it, 60? No, 30. Wow, that's, that's not very much at all. 
All right, but that that should be good there. Uh, we can hook this up. Will that reach? Sure will. Fantastic. Um, let's get our counters set up. Uh, each plus zero output each. Each times a negative one output each. Uh, turn off alt mode makes it easier to see the wires that goes into the back of that that does not hook up to that that hooks up to the power pole power pole and the input gets wired to the output of that and the red coming in goes into the back of that Is that correct? No idea. Uh, looks good to me. Okay, let's uh, get stations set up. And I was thinking about how I wanted to do stations, and I think I want to do drop, and I want to do what they have. This one has iron and copper. Uh, we may have to rethink uh, the way that the trains are running. Uh, this is going to be steel. Uh, coal and brick. And uh, I messed this up earlier. I never fixed it. Okay, there we go. All right, so, um, Why are you not repathing? You should be repathing. Um Hmm. I'm confused. Uh, some of you are saying, I, I told you so, blah, 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 you need to shut off the station. Uh, that's not accurate. Um, I know that because, let's see, does that does that show? Oh, I don't have you set up for the station. Uh, that would probably help. <laughs> okay. Uh, drop, that is going to be, can I just select this right here? Yeah, I want, I want it to be named that. All right, so now repath. Hmm. Well, let's see. If I send you to to pick up iron... Oh, no! Okay, so there may be something going on. That's right. I just remembered. I don't have... Here, we'll send you there, too. Uh, pick up copper, and let's flip you around, because you facing the wrong way is annoying to me. Uh, yeah, because I, I, I removed the uh, loop-de-loo here to extend the network down further. And I never placed it back, so these guys can't go back to the station. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to use that signal method uh, because um, that only works, I believe, uh, effectively if all your stations are named the same thing. And uh, that's not going to be the case for us all the time. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and take this out and block it off for now. What do we have set here? Uh, let's bump that one up a little bit. Maybe a thousand. And what do we have set for you guys? Uh, steel, let's do like 300 or 200. That'd be fine. Um, coal. Let's do, let's do 900 for both of these. Basically three times what we need out here on the line uh, in those chests. 
think that will work. And uh, we need to get some trains set up for these guys. So let's go up and do that. And I want to actually come up here. Uh, turn off the robots. I was too late. Uh, that's okay. I want to come up here so they can go ahead and get some uh, get some fuel inside them. All right. Oh, <laughs> car. Uh, let's see. You'll be the first one. Uh, you are going to go to pick up bricks, out of weight condition, full cargo, and inactivity. Uh, two two seconds. And uh, the reason why I'm doing uh, the and two seconds is to allow them time to refuel. Um, I was having some problems with some trains that were running out of gas. Uh, you are going to go to drop steel coal bricks. Uh, and you are going to do, we'll just do one second of inactivity. Uh, yeah, because if their inventory was already full, they would come through this station and not stop to refuel. Uh, so they would they would just keep going around and eventually they'd run out of gas. And it was really annoying. Um, so that's why I put that extra condition in there. Uh, you were going to go to pick up coal. Uh, drop. Steel coal brick. Um, An activity one second. My, my mouse wheel wasn't picking up there. Uh, full cargo. In activity two seconds. Okay, go about your merry way. And last but not least, the steel train. And you go to copper, steel, or steel, br coal brick. Uh, and we'll wait for inactivity of one second there. Full cargo and inactivity of two seconds. All right, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, there's a coal train. We can go ahead and hop that. All right, we've got our iron and our copper. Um, you have everything you need. You are... Okay, they're both going to wait there, I think, until one of these stations opens up, and that will cause them to do some repathing. Uh, there's basically two ways to shut off a station, and uh, one of them is by shutting off the signal in the back end, and one of them is by actually shutting off the station. Um, I did a little comparison on the two in uh, the creative series, uh, where I made up a number of different train networks. Um, whenever you have multiple train stations... Um, I, I, like I said, I don't think we're going to, we might have a situation where the station just needs copper or maybe it needs like copper and steel. Uh, so we're going to have to add a new station for that. And, um, if it would never go to the other station, if, if this were the case. So I think we may have to end up where we are actually turning off the stations instead. Uh, but for right now, I think... I think this will work out fine. But while you're here, I tell you what, let's go ahead and put a an activity weight condition on you as well. Just for the sake of consistency. Alright, and we should be able to get the other train from here. Alright, and uh, let's see, I just wanted to make sure that I did that as an and condition. Yes, I did. All right, so um, that is everything here. Uh, yeah, I guess we just need to turn it on and uh, kind of see what happens. Uh, so let's do that, and let's see what happens. Let's see what we broke. Okay.
Oh, okay. Um, that makes sense. We have an enable disable condition right there. Okay. I was really worried there for a second. All right, so steel's emptied out already. Uh, we have a ton of this other stuff that's going to go out, and it's probably going to take it a while to come out. But it's got two belts of uh, stuff to get on. So um, hopefully after the initial push and all that gets thrown around. We'll get a chance to uh, to mellow out a little bit. We are making uh, regular ammo. We are making the red ammo. We are making the wall. We're making grenades. And we're starting to make some military science down here. This looks fantastic. Are you guys starting to trickle down a little bit? All right, you guys are starting to trickle down a little bit. Means we're getting our big load out. Oh, this isn't going to work here, is it? Oh, boy, not even a little bit. Uh, let's take the filter off of that one. Uh, we want you to be military science going out. Uh, let's just throw all that stuff back onto the belt for now. There we go. All right, that's a, a little bit more reasonable. All right, let's see. You guys are still making. All of you guys are still making. How is power? Okay, power might be something we take a look at here pretty quick. Uh, all these machines are making, and we are getting military science coming out. Very, very, very good. All right, uh, just uh, one more little thing I want to do here. Oh, I was going to see about setting it up off of that. Oh, well, well, we'll do that on the next one. We'll do that on the next one. Uh, you are going to read the belt contents. Uh, you want to do a hold. And uh, you are going to enable disable when anything greater than zero. Uh, I'll put priority on the right. Everything greater than zero, right? Okay, nope, not that. If all input signals, any signal greater than zero, I want to turn that off. Uh, you're reading the belt contents. You should be holding. Enable disable if anything not equal to zero. I mean, that should be sending a signal out, right? What am I missing here? That should have a signal of eight black science. If any of the signals coming in, uh, and that should be a black science signal, is not equal to zero, that's the enable condition. Derp. Oh, man. Kitch, kitch, kitch. All right, so whenever all that gets back out... Everything equal to zero. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Okay, let's double check our work up here. Boy, end of the episode. My brain is fried. That's what I'm going to go with. Everything equals zero. Okay, yeah, that's that's correct. All right.
so there are, are is our red and green science. Uh, here is our military science. Uh, why military science not work? I'm seeing a suspicious lack of iron on the system, uh, which makes total sense because we don't have any iron up here. Okay. Total sense. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure why you're hanging out up here. Something goofy's going on there because those two stations are named the same. Uh, maybe it's when the stations are next to each other that's supposed to happen. I don't know that if I tested with the, the stations being like... Uh, all the stations that I tested were, were under the same stacker. Maybe that has something to do with it. I'm not sure. Um, something we'll have to look at. Well, um, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to let this run for a little while and uh, see what I've messed up with it. But right now, I think it's not looking bad. Looks like we could probably cut down on uh, some of the items that we currently have in here. Like we look a little bit heavy on the coal. And uh, a little heavy on uh, on some of the other things, um, but that's something that's something we can certainly adjust uh, with with by just tweaking the numbers. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode where, yeah, I think we need to, we need to set up something, some place for this science to actually uh, get, uh, get processed. And uh, we can actually start researching some of these military science things. Pretty exciting. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.